I feel it's very important that children are introduced to dream work from their parents or guardians or some elder who is raising them who they feel safe with and they trust and they um, have that bond. And from that initial bond at home, um, then they can branch out with it. But I feel that it's very important at DreamBridge that I offer courses to parents of young children or parents expecting to have a child or to have children. Um, because when parents are educated about dreams, they are empowered to help their children and to speak to their children. And so um, that's how we start at DreamBridge. We start with parents, parent education. And from parent education, then the children are familiar. And by the time they're around age seven or so, they could take, they could take a workshop and they could come and um, participate uh, in events at DreamBridge and feel absolutely comfortable with it because it would be part of their home life. It would be part of our culture. There are so many of you, so many parents who are hungry to work with dreams with their children and want the tools to understand it more deeply and more confidently. I mean, just think, if you, if you were not afraid of nightmares yourself, what can you do for your child? You know, if we understand our own nightmares, if, if our fear is no longer there, just think of what we can do to help our children feel that safety, trust, confidence, love, community. It all starts at home. I finished my master's degree in human development in 2002. And that was when I wrote my position paper for my master's thesis was about creating DreamBridge. Dream arts education, teaching parents, starting with parents of young children. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where life begins. The beginning of our problem in our culture is that we don't have uh, a dream arts education. That parents don't just know automatically what to tell their children when they have a nightmare or how to guide them when they have a creative dream to express it in a positive way. What did you do when you were a child and had a nightmare or something and woke up scared? My father uh, raised me with dream education um, based primarily on Hilton Stewart's Sonoy Dream Theory. In our society, growing up, I didn't have other kids to talk about it with uh, because their parents weren't telling them that their dreams were healthy and normal and that it was okay. Um, right. Honestly, I think our culture is under dream nourished in general. When I think of what is the run of the mill dream knowledge our culture has, it would be dream dictionaries maybe. It's not so that every dream symbol means the same thing because we are all different, we are all unique dreamers and so depending on our life story, depending on our personal mythology, depending on what happened that day in our life or the day before, dream symbols can mean different things. So it's really, it all goes back to the dreamer in the end, what the meaning of their dream is. We need more dream education to begin with before we can even branch that dreaming into dream arts. By learning about our dreams, we learn more about ourselves, we learn more about our relationships, we learn more about our society, our cultures. When we know more about that, we also learn more about dreaming. It goes right back to learning about dreaming, of course, because we're learning the value of dreaming. We're learning the value of our dreams and we're not just writing them off.